Dragon, Dragon, Dragon TV. Hello Dragon TV, I am Samantha Wentland and I have the distinctive pleasure of being this week's Dragon TV anchor. Congratulations to our All-Americans, Giles Addison, Charles Cypress, Christian Sterling, Mark Sean Montero, and Carrie Beloga. In this episode, you will see CCHS production of Mamma Mia, prom dress shopping hacks, automatic versus manual transmission, and our favorite frog, Kelpie. Our hearts go out to Ukraine. Students at CCHS have shown their support to the Ukrainian people through a collaborative mural. Before we get into this episode, let's take a moment to think about those in need and view this tribute to Ukraine. trip to Kalakari, Greece. Dragon TV reporter Ben has got the latest scoop on Drama Club's newest production, Mamma Mia. Two years after the world went dark from COVID-19, the CCHS Drama Club is officially back with its production of Mamma Mia, the jukebox ABBA-inspired musical. It's no surprise the arts suffered during the pandemic. So to finally be able to perform a full-fledged musical on the CCHS stage leads to mass excitement and hype surrounding the spring show. Now being a few weeks out from the show, I decided to interview some of my fellow classmates and ask them what they missed most about performing and what they're most excited to share with the community through Mamma Mia. What did you miss most about performing in the drama club? Uh, getting to perform on stage with a bunch of friends and it's a great experience that you can only kind of get in uh, a high school setting. And what are you most excited to share with the community through Mamma Mia? Uh, I'm excited to perform a show that is not outside and is finally back on stage that COVID did not interrupt. I miss the moment when the curtain drops on the final show and everybody's yelling and screaming and we're all hugging each other and crying because our seniors are going to be gone, but we get to do it again next year. I am excited to show everyone how the relationships that I have built with people backstage reflect on stage and I'm excited for a good performance. Um, probably like all the rehearsals and everything and just not necessarily performing, just learning it all with everybody else. <laughs> um. Probably, it's just a really fun show that's really good for all ages, especially people of like our parents' generation since they grew up with that movie, um, and ABBA as well, so. I'm really excited to perform on stage with some of my best friends this year over instead of over Zoom. My castmates and I hope to see you at the CCHS Auditorium, March 31st to April 3rd. Make sure you come to multiple performances. It's a different cast every night. See you then. Wow, that show will have everybody singing in their seats. Have you been eyeing dresses, suits, or just dreaming about the big night of prom in a couple months? Well, lucky for us, our very own Dragon TV reporters, Sophie, Mia, and Lillian took a trip to Goodwill to show CCHS how you can pull off prom on a budget. Let's go along with them. Hi, welcome back to Dragon TV. I'm Sophie. I'm Lillian. I'm Mia. And today we're going to be trying to find prom dresses on a budget. All right, let's see what we can get. <laughs> right guys <laughs> so this is our first dress um it is 9.99 and if you like long dresses this would be one for you here's another very pretty option and it's from only a girl night very cute here's the second dress we found it's from david's bridal and it's nice and green 9.99 again Pretty in pink, very 2000s, but honestly, I would probably wear it. Rip my fit, 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, here's some red options we found. This one's from David's Bridal, and they come in a bunch of different sizes. Okay, um, this one is also from David's Bridal. It's just a black dress. And then we also have another red option here. Um, and the back has these open cuts. And then we have this pink one. Here's another blue dress we found. It's super pretty. The back has some really nice details, and I bet it would look really good on someone. So we have these purple um, heels that are size 7, and they're $9.99. And then we have these heels. These are more for like a strappy vibe if you're into that. 
there's also these. These are more like a kitten heel type of situation if you like that. And if you're not a heel person like me, you can just get flats like this. And these are only $9.99. Okay, guys, we're back now. And what would you guys rate that experience? Honestly, I give it like a 9 out of 10 mm -hmm. because all the dresses were super pretty. I think the only problem people might find is not getting like the right size, but I'm sure you could get a dress tailored. Yeah. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. other affordable options that we found while looking for prom dresses would be like Macy's, Etsy, Etsy. <laughs> and um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed and happy prom shopping! Woo! Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I'll definitely be taking a trip to my local thrift store soon. Thank you, Sophie, Mia, and Lillian. In this next segment, Olivia and Hansel will cover the perks of driving a manual car versus an automatic car. This depends on your day-to-day -day travels, so let's shift right into it. A manual transmission, also known as a stick shift, is a multi-speed car that requires the driver to manually shift gears using a third pedal, called the clutch, and it's to the left of the brake. Pressing down on the clutch stops power from going to the engine so you're able to switch gears up or down. As few as 18% people can drive a manual transmission, but why is this percentage so low? What makes it so different from an automatic car? There are many underlying reasons as to why someone might choose to drive a manual. Some of the downsides to having a manual car are that um, they have a lower resale value, they're not as widely available, and like they're not very common anymore, but um, they're really um, annoying in stop and go traffic because you have to go in and out of first gear. There are a lot of benefits to having a manual car like um, superior acceleration, fuel efficient, um, usually sometimes cheaper, but definitely cheaper to service or work on yourself. Um, you can save your brakes by downshifting and you also have a lot more control. As you can tell by the name, an automatic transmission is um, a car that automatically switch switches gears, so you're only left with park, brake, reverse, neutral, low, or sport mode. There are many pros to an automatic car. It doesn't require much practice, higher resale value, it's widely available, and way easier to drive in traffic. Wow, thank you Olivia and Hansel for showing us the difference between the two different types of transmissions. Who doesn't love to hear about exotic pets? Today, one of our Dragon TV reporters, Madison C, will be introducing her white Australian tree frog, Kelpie, who loves the camera. Let's see some of his best moments. Do you think this frog is real? Well, he is. This is my Australian white tree frog. His name is Kelpie G, named after this character from Spongebob. Kelpie is almost two years old and he can live up to 16 years in captivity. These frogs are native to Australia and you can easily buy one from a pet store or a breeder. They are very easy to take care of once you have the proper heating and lighting set up. When he is a baby, I had to feed him once a day, but as he gets older, now I only have to feed him about once a week. Kelpie has a huge personality for such a little guy. I know Kelpie is male because he can croak. Females do not have a voice box to make this sound, so I knew it was a boy. He is very friendly and handleable. He even likes the occasional photo shoot. I hope everyone enjoyed learning about my mini best friend, Kelpie the Frog. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Kelpie the Frog. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 3 of Dragon TV, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!